Hi everybody, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. I have a uh, Dell laptop in here and the customer said it was overheating and shutting off. The bottom was getting quite warm and she doesn't think that the fan's running. So let's take a look at this laptop and see what we can figure out with it. Well, this is the Dell laptop that I was telling you about that the customer said was overheating. This is the Dell Inspiron N4010. And um, it's a iCore 3. has Windows 7 on it. It's a pretty nice machine. So the first thing I want to do is uh, see this heating problem for myself. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And uh, power it up. So what I'm going to do while this thing's powering up is go ahead and turn it on the side here. like that you can see that the laptops on so this vent right here is the the outtake and then this one right here is the intake and generally right underneath here is a fan I can't see it in the video but I can see some fan blades inside these slots and um, that's what cools this whole thing. So I'm just waiting for this to get hot so I can see it for myself. I have a, uh, a meter here that measures temperature. And uh, I'm just going to put it right here. Push the button. And that's the current temperature is 83.6. So I'm going to let it run just a little bit longer. I have the thing just sitting here idle up on the edge. And uh, I'll be back as soon as the temperature elevates. Okay, let's check this again. This has only been running just a couple minutes. So you can see now it's uh, almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it is getting warm. So this is up to 103.3 right now. Um, that's still not hot enough to convince me to tear this apart yet. But uh, it is climbing steadily. And um, if I put a load on the processor, it would get hotter faster. However, I'd rather go there slowly in this manner um, so I'm not stressing it out unduly with unnecessary heat stress so I'm just making sure that uh, it's in a safe margin the reason why I want to make absolutely sure that this is a heat related issue is uh, the teardown on this laptop is kind of time consuming and I don't want to take it apart if I don't really have to but everything to me is starting to indicate that this does have a fan issue. I cannot see any debris inside the fan. A lot of times if you look down in these fins you can see hair and dirt and that sort of thing that's blocking the fan. In this case I don't see that at all even though I'm sure there's some in there. But uh, by now the, the fan should have turned on. Um, you know for a hundred degrees anyway, so I'm pretty sure that that you know this is a fan issue So it's up about 103 104 so Yeah, I would say that this fan is not working properly. So um, it has proved to me that uh, It definitely has an overheating problem So that warrants um, me taking it apart. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do so I'm going to go ahead and power this down and remove my power cable. 
flip it over and make sure I take out the battery first of all. And I'm going to grab some screwdrivers and when I get back we'll start taking this thing apart. So stand by for that. Like I said, it is very time consuming to take apart these right down basically to the motherboard to get to the fan, the cooling system. So you want to be absolutely sure that you have to do that before you commit to it. As I take screws out, I like to tape them to whatever they belong to. Like this is the screw that holds in the optical drive that was here. So I'll just tape the screw to here so I know that that goes back for this. So this is a 2 gig PC3 memory. There's probably two of them in here, so that'd be a 4 gig of RAM. Yep, these are the same. So this computer has 4 gig of RAM in it. Not bad at all. And what I like to do with these laptops is that as I'm taking out the screw, I put them down here on the table, making sure that they're all the same size. And if they're not, I'll make sure that I mark the ones that are different sized and usually tape them to the hole that they belong to. There are a few more screws down in this battery area here, but I'm gonna see if I can get the keyboard out first. And I need to get a guitar pick too. So I, I know I've, I've shown this many times, but I like to use a pretty thick guitar pick when I'm taking apart laptops. So there's a little clip here that has to come up. And you want to be very careful with this because it's easily broken. There's the keyboard. So the fan is under here. So this whole part has to come off here. So I'm, I'm going to have to take the screws off the back. In the battery compartment here. Here. So I'm just going to go over this one more time and make sure that I've got all the screws out of there. Always look down in these cavities to make sure that uh, none are hiding. There are some along here too. so. I might have to take those out. I'm going to go ahead and take them out even though I, I might not have to. Alright, good. And now you can see that uh, the reason why I took those ribbon cables off is I wouldn't have been able to pull this up unless I had. This goes to the touch plate. This one over here goes to the power button. You can see. So now you can see the fan here. There's a little connector here.
looks like just two screws holding that on. So there it is. Look at that's dirt. It's all dirt. I'll be back in a minute. This is the fan that I pulled out of that laptop. And um, I pulled a big chunk of dirt out of the blades. And it was such a big piece that I'm wondering if it were blocking the fan from just starting up. So I am going to test this fan using this little power supply here. And I've got a five volt connection that goes to this wire and then a ground. And the way I'm going to do it is there's a, a wire, it's very small. It has a red and a black and a yellow. And the yellow is the temperature sensor. And the red and black are, you know, positive five volts and ground. So I am going to carefully take these two ends and I have needles on them and I'm just going to stab the ground and then turn on the power supply and then touch the red one because I've purchased these fans before and then I found out that uh, you know there was nothing wrong with the fan at all I just um, replaced it and all it was was a piece of dirt stuck in there so anyway, um, I've got it touched off on my negative here. I go ahead and turn my power supply on. And then I'm just going to very carefully come in here and touch the positive lid. Look at that. The fan works perfectly. So my guess is, you know that piece of dirt in there was blocking the, the blades from turning. That fan sounds good. So, um, really there's nothing wrong with this fan. It, it just uh, needs to be cleaned up and put back in. The bearings still sound good. And, um, I think it'll be fine. There's two little screws here. Now normally I would probably just go ahead and replace this fan because they're not that expensive. But I'm very confident that this fan's just fine. So she's on a time crunch um, because school's starting up for college and she wants her kid to have this um, before she goes back Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just patch this one up. I'm going to get a small screw and I'm going to take this apart. So my secret weapon is these alcohol swabs. These are great at cleaning up parts. This isn't the first time I've seen this. It's, you know, I've seen hair and uh, you know, cat and dog hair stuck in these big fur clusters, and um, they just sit in there and block the fan from going. I'm going to put a link up on the screen right now that uh, goes over how to maintain a laptop so that you won't have this trouble. It's an earlier video that we did um, months ago, but it's still very pertinent to this. And uh, there's some good tips in there on how to clean your fan without actually taking the thing apart. And it will um, prevent problems like this from happening. OK. 
Okay. So I'll just go ahead and button this back up now. What's the spot here? Make sure I get it all. Okay, very good. Let's go over, put this back in the laptop and uh, test it out before we butt it up. I'll meet you over there. Okay, I've got my fan cleaned up. I just want to make sure that I clean up this, this area over here too. Let me show it to you. Right in here. And this is kind of like the radiator. And this one looks pretty good, but um, just want to make sure there's nothing blocking the vents at all. Okay, so I'm going to drop this in there just temporarily and put this together just good enough to turn the laptop on to make sure that it's uh, working now. There's that big hairball I took out of there. And that was found right in there like that, and I think that was the, the problem right there. Big hairball. I'm not going to put the screws or anything in. I'm just just good enough to get this running. Okay, that should be enough to get it going. Get my power cable back on here. see what happens here. Oh, here we go. Time to listen. Yeah, it says it's on. It's coming on. Well, nothing yet. I'm going to let it run a couple minutes and uh, see if this fan turns on. I'll be back. Okay, I've been letting this laptop run for a few minutes. And if you take a piece of toilet paper or something like that, you can see it moving. And that means, you know, that the fan's running. Something else that you can do to tell if the fan is running is to let the fan blow on your face and your face is very sensitive and you can tell if it's running but this fan is now running and the air that it's coming out of there is warm so this appears to be running just fine now so that is a good um, example of what basically some lint can do if it gets stuck in your laptop stop the fan and um, and then once the fan shut down um, the thermal protection takes over and the laptop won't stay running so I'm gonna power this back down it up one last time so I'm gonna go ahead and put the screws back in this fan and begin to button it up now if you have canned air it would be a good time to clean all this out I've already done it off camera but uh, I, I didn't record it Flip it over and start adding screws. And because I have all my screws in order here on the table, exactly how they go, I can just go ahead and grab them and bring them directly down into their place. Mm -hmm. 
by the way these screws that I'm taking or I'm putting on right now these three um, they're not really needed to take this thing apart the way I did it doesn't hurt to take them off like I did but you don't have to Time to test it. Well, the fan is not on yet. I expect it will turn on soon. We'll leave this paper up here so when it turns on, we'll see it move. Okay, so you just seen this thing move. I'm putting my face over it and I can feel the heat coming out of it. So the fan is now working. That's a great sign. So the fan is happily spinning down there. I just seen it stop actually. And it will turn off and on as needed. And um, the only thing left to do now is to go ahead and let this laptop run for a while on my bench and um, make sure that it's going to stay running and not overheat and I'll periodically check the temperature like I did in the beginning and make sure that it doesn't go over around 100 degrees I would think would be comfortable and uh, just check it out overnight to make sure it's going to be okay for the customer and then give her a call and have her pick it up okay guys well I hope you got some use out of this video that's how you would um, take a fan out and troubleshoot for overheating problems in a laptop it's not always a bad fan sometimes it can be a plug fan like in the in this case so um, thanks for watching guys if you like this video give us a thumbs up and uh, give us a comment we like reading those they're always fun to read and we read every one of them so thanks again and we'll see you next time bye for now Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.